welcome back. We are here today with the third most requested fight and our first poll. Now, this was basically a test run to see how you guys like this. You know, I think it's a pretty good idea, more interacting with the community. You know, I love talking with you guys, but I was given another suggestion. Big shout out to Perry for giving me this great idea. And the comment says, why not watch this series in chronological order? I don't see a problem with it, but you guys drop down in the comments. Let me know. Would you like to continue doing the polls, the top three videos get watched, or do you want to just watch the series the way they came out? I'm down for either way. Let me know. But if the first poll is our final poll, this is a great final fight, bro. Marvel versus DC. It's about to go back. The Incredible Hulk versus Doomsday. Getting into this prediction, I have no idea. Just like the thumbnail. I don't know, bro. Please don't be mad at me for my reasoning. But the fact that Broly and Hulk fight was so top tier and so close, I'm going with the Hulk, bro. That has nothing to do with Doomsday. Maybe Doomsday can beat Broly. I know I can see y'all typing that right now, bro. I hear your fingers in the keyboard. Bro, I know. That's all I can give you. So I'm going with the Hulk. I'm expecting this to be a very intense fight as well. We just got a new number two fight of all time last video i put the card up there make sure you check it out we ain't gonna do all that yapping like i did last video you feel me we're gonna get right into this thing so y'all already know what to do smash that like button for your boy subscribe turn that bell on so you don't miss anything the original video will be linked down below my reasoning for the hulk is so trash but if he win i'm gonna brag about it uh let's get it let's go oh man i'm nervous
the Hulk's immeasurable power and Doomsday's impossible immortality, <laughs> this truly felt like a fight between an unstoppable the force takes and nothing an but nails in death battle, bro. Hulk may have had the advantage in raw strength, at least at his full potential, but Doomsday could certainly hold his ground. His victories against the likes of Superman and Darkseid prove he can take a hit from someone strong enough to break planets. And by experience, Doomsday had the speed advantage. He regularly fights foes with light speed capabilities, while that kind of speed is an extreme rarity in the Marvel Universe. In fact, the only foe that fast who Hulk's ever seemed to keep pace with in a one-on-one -on -one match was Sentry, and that was when he was at his most powerful stage, Worldbreaker Hulk. So overall, Hulk had strength and Doomsday had speed, but neither completely outclassed the other. At first glance, this one looked like it could go either way. Which means the devil's in the very tiny details. So why couldn't the Hulk's infinite strength just keep rising and eventually overwhelm Doomsday? Well, even assuming Hulk's strength was infinite, his healing factor was not. Don't get me wrong, it can only be overtaxed by hits from absurdly powerful beings such as Zeus or Sentry, whom Doomsday certainly compares. Naturally, Doomsday's crazy strength and speed started wearing that healing factor down. Here's where it gets a bit tricky. The Hulk may look like a giant green monster, but he's still technically human, and his power directly correlates with his anger. A human being's anger stems from an increase in hormones and adrenaline in the body. However, the brain can only produce these chemicals at such a rate for a limited time, eventually giving up and turning apathetic. Therefore, Hulk's limitless power could never have existed without his healing factor. It's the key. It allowed his body to continue producing hormones and adrenaline far beyond the norm, theoretically an endless supply, thus increasing his superhuman power to an immeasurable degree. So Doomsday overtaxing his healing factor meant the Hulk could no longer maintain his increasing rage and Hulk form. Mm. And if you're still skeptical, that's why there's a bunch of times in comics when a huge impact forced the Hulk to turn back into Bruce Banner, including that battle between Worldbreaker Hulk and Sentry. With his healing power beaten down, he literally couldn't keep himself angry enough to stay in Hulk mode. Wow. I love science, but there's still one more thing. Thanks to his battles with Superman and other Kryptonians, Doomsday has evolved to a point where it's basically impossible to kill him with brute force alone. I so Hulk couldn't have killed him by just getting angry enough to punch harder than Doomsday ever felt. Precisely. Here's the proof. Superman and Doomsday eventually had a rematch, in which Superman was much more powerful than their first battle. As we discussed before, Superman's power is also potentially limitless by way of continually absorbing solar energy. And at this point in his story, he'd begun to discover that. But try as he might, despite his increased power, Supes couldn't kill Doomsday with blunt force a second time. Ultimately, Doomsday's immunity to being ripped, impaled, incinerated, blasted with energy, and being beaten by blunt force from both focused and Bro, multiple sources he, means Hulk just didn't have the options available to him. I didn't know he did. Superman like that, bro. Factor was overtaxed. On this day, Hulk met his doom. Do Doomsday. The winner is Doomsday. She. I thought the Hulk would at least get one dub out here, man. That's what I get for being cocky, huh? DC fans, man, I need y'all to drop down in the comments and tell me a little more about Doomsday, bro. How you kill this guy? Dude might come on here and clear almost everybody in death battle history. Almost. I didn't say everybody now, so y'all calm down. This fight, did it crack top two? Definitely not. Is it top three? No. I will give it an A. They were boxing, they got down to it, you feel me? The music was amazing. The, the animation was actually cool, especially for this to be a very old death battle. I give it an A. I don't know if they have any more fights with you, Hulk. They need to bring you back, man. You gotta redeem yourself, bro. Two L's like that? This dude took your head off, and I feel like Broly just head buddies you to death. Like, what's going on, man? Not looking so incredible. You really not. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn that bell on so you don't miss anything. Also, to make this a little easier, just in case people want to skip through the video, I'll drop a poll to see what you guys want to do. The top most requested videos in a poll, or do you guys want to just react to this in chronological order? I'm down for either way. Y'all stay safe, be easy, and I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Peace. Phantom, rolled out, y'all. We ain't doing this again. Uh -oh.